Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I made a cake for my younger brother. It was his birthday not long ago, and I made a cake for him. So it was one of my first tries of making a cake. It was, I think it was my second try. Um, it wasn't perfect. I tried my best, and here's how it went. So I'm here I am making the vanilla sponge cake. I made two batches, and then I separated them into four cakes, cake layers. So firstly, cream the butter, and then add in sugar, eggs, vanilla and self-rising flour and the baking powder. Once the cakes were done, I let them chill in the fridge overnight and this was the second day. I made whipped cream frosting to go in between the layers and as a crumb coat. So whipped cream frosting, really straightforward. Just cream, icing sugar, vanilla and just keep whipping it until it's really thick. So as you can see, the whipped cream is done, it looks really soft and fluffy, just like I wanted it. And I used it in between each layer as well as a thin crumb coat. But because whipped cream has a really soft texture to it, I used buttercream to help build structure to the cake. So it won't tilt. And I evenly smoothed it all around the cake. But this layer doesn't have to be perfectly smooth because it's just a base so I have something to work with. So now I'm going to be making the buttercream for the final blue layer. I started off by measuring the amount of icing sugar. I used around 750 grams of icing sugar. This was only a quarter of what I used and I sifted it quite a few times. It's really important to sift the icing sugar. It will help avoid lumps and the horrible grainy texture that we all hate. I think I sifted mine about like 45 times which gave me a really smooth buttercream. <laughs> Then I took my softened butter that I kept at room temperature for 2-3 to three hours and I placed it in the bowl. Again, it is really important to make sure your butter is not too soft because then you won't be able to get that thick consistency that you want. It would basically be really gloopy and melted. So I used 500 grams of butter and I simply just whipped it on high for a very long time. Because I had a large quantity of butter, I whipped it for like 15-20 minutes which gave me a beautiful pale colour. So as you can see right now, the butter has a yellowish tinge and by incorporating air into it, we are able to make it really pale and like almost an off-white kind of colour which is what we want and it's also doubled in size. <laughs> Then add in your icing sugar, little by little so you don't get a huge explosion and once it is all mixed in, add in some milk, uh, about a tablespoon at a time until it is your desired consistency and also add in 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract. So 
to colour the frosting, I used the extra strong blue gel food colouring from Dr. Oakley's and I kept adding it until I was satisfied with the colour. I used about three quarters of the tube to give me a light blue, almost like a turquoise kind of colour. A great hack you can use to get that smooth finish is to dip your metal spatula in really hot water and keep it in there for like 30 seconds. Dry it and then gently run the spatula across the cake and the heat from the spatula will melt a small amount of frosting leaving you with a really smooth shiny effect. So for the final touches, I was being really really indecisive, I couldn't decide what to do. My original plan was this, and the strawberries were originally going to be dipped in blue chocolate. But I was making this during necessary time and everything just went so wrong, because the white chocolate that you can see that I dripped, um, I had many bars of it, I had like three whole bars, I accidentally burnt it. I burned the chocolate so I couldn't use it, that's why I didn't have enough chocolate to cover the whole surface. And then I was going to use that chocolate to also dip in the strawberries, but I burnt it so I couldn't use that. But in the end, I kind of I kind of liked the contrast between the red and the blue, it was, it was really contrasting. In the end, I mean, I guess it worked out, it definitely was not what I had planned, my plan was completely different, you could see how hesitant I was, but I tried my best with what I was given at that time, and I guess it, it wasn't that bad, I'm just grateful that it worked out. And finally, the cake was done, I was so tired after making this. It's
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!